So I would meet people online, of course. You know, you would be out at the club and you would see these people in person. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Ash and if you're returning, welcome back. So in today's video, we're gonna be getting into Instagram, how I feel about Instagram, how Instagram even came up in my life and what I used to use it for versus now. And if you feel like you wanna add anything to the conversation, please do in the comment section below. I love to chat with you guys. And if you want to find out more about what I have to say about Instagram, just keep watching, child. Hey, 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 everybody. So I'm going to talk today while I do my hair. I want to talk to you guys. And I just want to have an event session in the comments as well. And I just want to talk about Instagram and where I'm at with Instagram, where my friends are at and um how much i hate it while i do my hair which is really just gonna be me i don't know if i want to throw some curls in it or what but i don't know i'm just starting to get really i'm starting to get really nervous about my leave out because i'm transitioning and anyways let's just do my hair and talk about instagram like i hate instagram and i never in a million bajillion gazillion years thought that I would be saying that but I generally hate posting on Instagram now the way I feel about my stories I still like posting on my story I just get I like truly catch a vibe posting in my story like posting in my story is just like stuff that I want you to see right now I'm feeling myself or there's just something I want you to just see or I just feel like putting myself out there and just being cute or whatever the case but in general like I don't know what it is I was lit literally thinking about this today this morning I was like what is it about Instagram that I just hate so much why do I loathe posting on Instagram and why do I feel stupid posting on Instagram or I just feel like it's crickets so it's a lot of reasons like I just had to go back to the beginning when I first started posting on Instagram I think I generally or genuinely wanted to connect with people it was a smaller community still it was just one of those apps that's like if you're in the know you're in the know and like I was telling my friend the other night, I missed the whole Tumblr era. Like, I never was on Tumblr. I didn't really, I don't know what it was, but I think I was just, you know, my focus was elsewhere. And then there were periods of time when I was married and I wasn't really on social media. I mean, I was, but I wasn't. I probably had like, I was probably more active on Facebook and it was more so just really used to, you know, keep your family up to speed speed on what's actually going on in your life so to speak like what you want people to see and really I was using it as a tool because that around that time is when my depression and anxiety was really 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 bad and I would just prefer to you know post pictures I always like to take pictures but I just feel like pictures can say a thousand words and I don't have to if you get what I'm saying like I just was going through a period where I just really wasn't feeling like ever since the internet interacting in person is just like mm, you know but things are different now but at that time that's mainly what I was using these apps for and then when Instagram came out I was like ooh, you know I didn't really fully understand it but I would try the different things they would update and you know, then I realized, oh, this is really cool. And then things got crazy. So in that period of life for me, it was when I started to just do my own thing. At that time, I was having marital problems and all that stuff. So I was going out. I was just doing my own thing. I've been very vocal about that. <laughs> Unless you're new here or whatever. Not that y'all really even care. But this is like a chronological wait a chronological like 
life long thing with Instagram that you're gonna and you can probably relate I don't know so that's what I was really using Instagram for and so when I started to hang out with my new bestie and all that stuff we were going out a lot and I was just going through a different period of life I think it was going through my early to mid 20s so you're in your 20s and these apps come out and this is where you can find people you can connect with people you know dating apps were out and on the rise and this was the new thing so you know and then not to mention like so I would meet people online of course and then you know you would be out at the club and you would see these people in person and it was just like wow like you didn't necessarily go up to people this was still the time frame when you really just didn't go up to people because it was weird still now I could just start a conversation with somebody after we just liked a bunch of pics like it's just so much different now and I'm just like okay so I was using Instagram at that time a lot for stunning oh my my iron wasn't turned up. I was using it for stunning, flexing. Like, you know, I was dating, so I was like, you know, I was talking to guys, whatever you want to call it. So, you know, it was a way to kind of track people. Y'all know shit. And it was just, girls, very much toxic. But I was having the time of my life just flexing, living life, posting it. And I think my mind frame at the time when I was posting was just like, oh, take the most, I would just be taking random pictures. Like it wasn't no rhyme, no reason. I just know, oh, I'm feeling good today. Oh, I look cute today. Oh, I look a mess today. Like didn't give much thought to a caption. You know what I'm saying? So very just sporadic. So then I remember celebrities started getting on these apps and honestly <laughs> I know we blame the celebrities for everything but I blame the celebrities no I blame the celebrities and then I'm gonna get into influencers and stuff but the celebrities really made social media get weird because it's like you know I prefer to just y'all just entertain like we seen what it's like for y'all to be on apps and responding to fans or haters or whatever. I don't enjoy it. It's very cringy. And it's just way too personal. And it's like, whoa. I want you to be somebody that... I, just be an entertainer. Like, I didn't like that whole era. When celebrities started getting on social media. Because I felt like, damn. Y'all already make all this money. Now y'all taking the money from... You know what I'm saying the baby influencers and you know I thought it was cool that regular people could go viral and all that stuff but okay so the celebrities are on Instagram now it's getting really weird they're responding to trolls it's just like ill it's like y'all are down here with us <laughs> okay so then we have like the rise of the influencer like not the regular makeup beauty influencer but like the fashion the the aesthetic instagram model allure and this is where instagram started to get really really shysty because then every girl is like oh all i gotta do is put on some makeup and do my hair and have a lace and you know maybe get a bbl and I can get additional income like this can be a real career for me but it can't be a real career for everyone and that is the part that has kind of felt like a hamster on a wheel and I don't know if the girls that are super duper successful on Instagram are still posting like in that mind frame that I was posting in back in the day or if they are just like legit have like a schedule like sometimes when I see like influencers like Jada Wade I'm just gonna point her out because she's super famous on Instagram I see these little sticky notes and things like that and I'm like yo they are legit they have certain days to post and all this stuff and I think that you know for them it is actually I mean it's a business so I'm like 
I think that my issue is I don't know how to make something a business like Instagram and then also have fun with it at the same time like I either am gonna post like it's a business or I'm just not because it's like when you post just for fun and don't really care I mean yeah you feel good inside but your bottom line is not being met and it's like because on Instagram I've come to notice not only are there like certain algorithms as far as the content you consume but I think Instagram has a way to look at people's pictures and put them like in categories and have a certain kind of demographic follow them because I have not been able to break out of having a highly dominant male audience at all like I may have onesie twosie girls that might like my stuff or whatever but I'm telling you majority of the time it is men in my comments liking my stuff and it's so exhausting because I'm like okay they mu Instagram must just be looping me in with like Instagram baddies so to speak because why else would if I'm not half naked if I'm not why am I looking at other girls and they have a highly woman dominated audience so I don't know and then I think there is such a thing as Instagram pages dying like I think my Instagram page is dead like for a long time I was very cocky because at one time like if you could get to 10k followers like that was considered like okay you're kind of making it in the Instagram world excuse me but now it's to the point where stuff is so orchestrated on there and you won't know it because people are very good at making it look like their life is perfect um i'm guilty of this because that's the way people post so that's the way you think you're supposed to post and people rent vehicles and homes and airbnbs and all this stuff just to have that i'm doing good look on instagram and it's very taxing on mental health because you just know you're not where you want to be with it and you're like looking around and you think everyone's super successful on Instagram because it's so Instagram is so deceptive it is so deceptive no one posts anything like I just feel like there's no substance like I feel like there's substance on Instagram but it's also still very commercially like you have to make a freaking template for everything it's like nothing is just raw like like what I like and I'm like mm, have I just outgrown this but I do like TikTok I do really 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 love tiktok like tiktok gives me my whole entire life and i really i've been seeing the celebrities come over there and there's a handful that are actually good at it but they have teams that will teach them how to be good at it but it's going to be interesting because it's not like somebody can just tell them what to post as a caption like it's we're looking at you in real time so i don't know y'all it's very easy to act a fool and do all that funny stuff when you have buku money to like wipe your tears at night from embarrassment <laughs> but for us regular people you're like trying to find your voice trying to find your personality and where you belong on these social media apps and you know everybody's got a course and how to blow up on social media and it's just like oh my god i just i don't know it's like like a blessing and a curse at the same time and I think I'm just way too freaking artsy for all of this like I don't know what it is like it's hard for me to be anything but deep and and all this stuff is just so shallow <laughs> like don't get me wrong I love a good outfit just like the next person but you know what I mean it's just you know there's no real depth on any of this shit except for TikTok. TikTok is literally I I enjoy TikTok. Like I can literally scroll on TikTok for hours and at first I I was late to TikTok, so I didn't really 
understand TikTok, but I'm so glad that I'm on there now. I learn a lot about myself. I can relate to a lot of women on there. Misogynists, racist, all those people get exposed on there. It's wonderful. But anyways, also, there's this like, I don't know if y'all feel this vibe if you're on Instagram or not, but uh, now I have changed who I follow. Um, there's a lot more people that I need to get rid of, but mm, it's not like urgent, but I uh, just get this really mean girl vibe from Instagram. I get it from the comments. I get it from like just this vibe when you post that you'll never be perfect enough to even dare I say compete, but to get where you want to get to on Instagram, like it's almost like nothing works. <laughs> Like, I've been on Instagram so long, it's ridiculous, it's sad, and it's like, maybe it's because I've never really felt comfortable. Well, in the back, you know, in the past, I've posted, you know, comfortably and stuff, but I'm no longer into that, that baddie look. Like, I think I'm into the baddie look, but it's on a different level now, and I don't know, maybe I'm just going through a phase, but... I'm, obviously I don't do the same things I did when I was 20 um so it's just like finding your lane and I'm honestly ready to give up on Instagram you guys like, I just feel like I wouldn't be missing out on anything if I if I just let Instagram go like truly and just focus all my energy on like TikTok or something even if it wasn't to like blow up, if it was just to be transparent, because I don't get that mean girl vibe from TikTok. Like I'm just so amazed with TikTok because of people's vulnerability. Like the stories that I see like really humble me at times and just looking at people's strength like seeing real as content that's really what it is it's real content real people with real problems um instagram is this perfectly curated app that has probably destroyed everyone's mental health at this point i have i know people that don't even talk about their feelings that said no i had to get off Instagram. It was fucking with my mental health. And I was like, what? Like, people that don't even take social media seriously was like, uh uh, it's fucking with my mental health because it's like reminding you that you're not where you're supposed to be in life. I'm like, I'm dead serious. That's all Instagram does is remind you that there's someone ahead of you in life. And it's like, wow. So you find yourself competing all day to get, I don't know, wherever you're supposed to be or wherever you think you're supposed to be because Instagram said so. It's very freaking damaging. So I was like, I got to talk about this. Like, seriously. So I hope this video wasn't negative or seem like you know i'm just being bitter I, i'm not i really feel like my channel not my channel my instagram page is dead and i've tried many different things to get it to grow and now i'm just posting whatever i want to post because my mental health cannot take it i'll leave my tiktok down in the description box if you want to check me out um i really feel like i'm going to be gravitating more towards tiktok i'll still be here on youtube and um yeah you guys let me know your thoughts down below and if you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye